Here are my thoughts on the uh, the Generation Two uh, EcoBoost uh, three and a half liter rattle. Uh, I own a 2018 Lincoln Navigator L. Uh, this vehicle has the second generation 450 horsepower engine, uh, V three and a half uh, V six, very similar, if not the same, as to the one in the uh, Ford Raptor pickup. Ford F-150 Raptor pickup. Uh, see, one day I was uh, I was sitting here and I was like, "Wow, this car sounds awfully noisy." It sound the the uh, the engine sounded like a diesel with this constant knocking, just like a diesel does. And then, besides that, on startup at times, when it was cold, it would rattle. And it would rattle very loudly for a couple seconds and it's nothing about that sounded natural so I brought it in thinking you know what this might be a an adjustment the dealership took the vehicle they it's it looked like they they replaced just about everything with the timing chain the camshaft phasers everything that seemed to relate to a revolver on that they replaced it took a month it took over 30 days it took one month and when I got it back, it still it sounded exactly the same. I I was almost, I was I was infuriated. I was angry because they had this thing a month, and they replaced all these parts, and it still this the result was the same. There, there this see this this vehicle is operated as a limousine. It's a livery vehicle. It has a lot of miles on it. It has eighty nine thousand miles. Uh, and one of the passengers commented, wow, this car sounds like a diesel. So I brought it back for a second time, a second try, and it took another, it took two weeks. So in total, the car was out for about one and a half months. One and a half months. So basically, let me, let me sum this up. The rattle, it comes on uh, when the engine is cold and it'll, it'll rattle and it's very loud and very noticeable and then it goes away after a couple seconds it goes away then the car it just it has this sound like a diesel engine just this constant knocking sound as if something is 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 wrong something doesn't sound right it's not natural um, when the car is new uh, when the car how the car is supposed to operate the engine is supposed to be refined it's supposed to be silent uh, you're not supposed to hear these noises, the constant knocking and, and diesel engine sound. The um, the uh, the uh, the rattle on startup. Everything was was unnatural about it. Uh, so if you were to pay for this out of pocket, off a of warranty, it would cost over thirty five hundred dollars, and it's going to take over a month and a half. Now, what kind of work are they going to do? It's major work. So, if you have an F-150 pickup, they're going to they're going to take the cab off. They're going to lift the cab off so they can get access to the engine. If not, lift the cab off. They're going to practically remove the engine or remove major parts. In total, it's going to be over nine labor hours of work. And again, if you have to pay for this out of pocket, it's going to be over thirty-five hundred dollars. I've put up a couple other videos of what of what the car sounded like. Uh, feel free to look for them but yeah this is a major issue now if you're thinking about buying in a, uh, a truck with one of these engines my my advice is to buy uh, at least a fourth skip the first three model years and move on to the 2021 and maybe just maybe they might have solved this problem but I know this problem is still in the 2008 is 2019 all the trucks that were repaired, sometimes the uh, it, the problem comes back. Uh, another thing I heard is lubrication. Uh, if one solution might be lubrication, but I don't know. These are just things I read on the internet. And you should change the oil every 5,000 miles. Every 5,000 miles with a high quality synthetic. And so what I did was I got AMS oil because this, this is a working truck. And I... You know, it, it took a lot when this car went down in that shop. It took a lot of uh, a lot of money from me. 
So what I did was I got the best quality 5W30 money could buy, which is Amsoil. I've also heard another solution is you know to use 5W40, a thicker oil. But you know when I looked on the internet, I wasn't quite sure. I'm not a mechanic. I don't you know I don't know about these things. I wasn't quite sure if it would you know damage something in the engine or not. Um, I think I don't think it would. I don't. Th I honestly I don't think it would matter. But the other point is is that the 5W40 oils don't seem to be as well developed or specifically designed. Uh, you know, for our engines, for our particular engines. I know they use it over in Europe. Uh, there's there's this one uh, formula called Mobile One Formula M, which is a 5W40 developed for Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes, and it's it does great in Mercedes turbo engines. But I just wasn't quite sure, and I couldn't find a lot of people who would who have done it already to uh, to be sure. And you know, there's a lot of anonymous people over the internet. So I got Amsoil which is the best uh, the best synthetic oil on the market you know through tests and um, and other uh, you know other posts about the this particular oil like you know like Bob is the oil guy they have all these uh, these Blackstone tests there's a guy the rat motor oil blog I'm not quite sure if it's legit but it, he says that is the absolute best oil to get 5w30 AMS oil signature series not the other ones they sell but signature series only so it's very expensive but again I just I can't have this happen again so from now on I'm going to change it 5,000 miles with that particular oil so I hope this uh, this video has been informative I've you know like I said I put up another video I put some instructions and stuff and the, as for the paperwork for the dealership after the repair it's a laundry list of, laundry list of parts that they had uh, they had replaced on the vehicle, a laundry list of parts. It's two pages long, uh, full of parts like the cam phaser, the entire timing chain. They replaced a lot of stuff and it took them two tries, two tries over one and a half months to do it. 